Hey everyone, back again. Um, I wanted to do the review of all the stuff that I got in my Ipsy bag, but first I wanted to introduce you to the newest member of our family. This is Appa, and yes, she's named after the Sky Bison in uh, Avatar The Last Airbender. Um, she is five months old? Six months old? She's a she's baby. She's a baby puppy. And she is the sweetest little thing. Yes, you are. Yeah, you're such a good girl. You're such a good girl. She's so done with me right now. She's so done with me right now. I brought her upstairs. Oh my God, look at this. Look at the shedding. Just make it rain. You're gross. Oh, sleepy puppy. She's so snuggly and wonderful and I love her. This is actually, this is my sister's dog, but my sister lives with me, so I get to, uh, I get to benefit from this. And I take her outside all day, so she's my bud. So that was it. I just wanted to introduce you to the dog real quick because she's super cute and I love her. Um, so, ah, oh, there's lipstick on my teeth. Gross. All right. Well, that was gross. Um, so I wanted to do the uh, review of all the stuff that I got in my Ipsy bag. Um, I've been doing it. I've been. I had it for what, like a week and a half, two weeks now, something like that. Uh, I don't know. I can't keep track of time. The days all just blur together. So. I've been using them um, quite a bit, actually. I've been using all of the products pretty much daily. Um, and so I have kind of a pretty good idea of uh, what I like, what I don't like about them. Um, so I'm going to kind of go through each one and uh, give you kind of like a, a quick review, quick rundown, pros and cons type thing, not like a full review, um, but just kind of like a quick rundown of uh, some of the stuff that I like and don't like about each of the products. So. Uh, first things first is the actual bag. Um, I mean, it's bigger than a lot of the Ipsy bags that you get. Because, like, usually they're, like, this size. And, well, I guess it's not that much bigger. It feels bigger, maybe just because it's not as, like, decorative. Um, it's plastic. It's that, like, PVC plastic crap, which I kind of hate. It smells plasticky, and I hate that smell. I hate it. But the theme was supposed to be like pool parties in summer and everything, so I understand why it's plastic. And I mean, I'm sure I'll find a use for this. Like, I can probably use this for like soap when I travel. Um, so there is that, but it makes the noise. I hate that noise. Like, I will find a use for this. I'm not about wasting stuff that's useful. But I don't really like the bag. It is. It does have like ice cream on it though, which is like really cute. So I do like that part. I, I like ice cream. So there is that. Appa, leave the cat alone. Vader is her best friend, and he plays with her and chases her all over the house, and they just like bat bat each other in the face, and it is the cutest thing. But she's like loud right now, and I'm trying to do a video. <laughs> All right, so the next thing that I'm going to go to is the Jelly Pong Pong Eyeshadow Duo. This is, it's in Supercharged. Oh, no, this is the Supercharged Eyeshadow. I'm sorry, it's in Electric. Um, it's, uh, this one is actually probably my least favorite out of all of the stuff that I got. Um, I mean, they're cute colors and everything. They're, they're really cute colors, but they're, like, they're pigmented when you swatch them. But if you use a brush for them, here, I'll show you. I will get like an actual, I'll use like a good brush too. All right, so when you swatch them with your finger, they're pretty pigmented, they're very shiny and everything. Um, let me get that a little more there for you. But then when you go and you use the brush, it's not as pigmented, it diffuses more, which means that if you want that intense color, you have to build it up more, which, you know, is a little disappointing because I swatched it when I first got it and I was like, oh wow, these are great colors, they're really pigmented. And then I tried to wear them with a brush and it wasn't as pigmented as I wanted it to be. So I was a little disappointed with, with that, but you know, I'm going to keep it on hand and, you know, maybe throw it in like my emergency makeup or something because they are cute colors and they are usable. You just have to, you just can't really use them with a brush, really. You kind of, you'll probably have to use them with like the little foam eyeshadow things, which I hate now that I have brushes. So there's that. Um, next, I'm going to go to the lip balm that I got. This is the Hey Honey Besame Mucho. I can't speak Spanish. Um, but it's uh, the Besame Mucho uh, lip balm. It is really, really great. Oh my god, I use this as an overnight lip balm 
right now, and uh, <laughs> this might be my new holy grail. I leave it on overnight, and then I wake up, and my lips are so, so soft. They're wonderful. Um, I can't really pin down what it smells like. It smells like almost fruity, but like a, it's like a really heavy fruit scent, but like, like the, the scent itself is, or, okay, so like it's, it's not an overpowering scent. It's not heavy in that regard, but it's like a, it's like a dense scent. I don't really know how to fully describe it, but it's, I mean, it smells good and it goes on like really thin. It's almost watery. And then it just like sits and soaks in and it does wonderful things. And of course it's got like honey and shea butter and stuff in it. So it is kind of amazing. The regular price, it's like $14 and you get a, a much bigger tube of it. Um, but I might actually buy this because Ulta has it and everything. And I might actually buy this because this is wonderful. So there's that. The next that I'm going to go to is the Luxie Preci Precision Foundation Brush. They call this like the Dreamcatcher Brush. Oh, he's so mad. He's so mad. I don't even know why. I know why. He's sick right now. We're going to go give him a bank. We're going to go give my nephew a bank. Come on, Appa. Come on. No, come on. Come on. All right, whatever. Stay upstairs. Don't tear my stuff apart. She chews on everything. Come on. Come on. Come down the stairs. Oh, now you stop. Did you just need to look at me? Did you just need to know I'm still here? I'm still here. I'm just trying to do a video. Where's your bank, huh? Where's your bank? Here's your bank. How did it not end up with you? You going to say hi to the people? Say hi, people. Say hi, Danny. Uh, no, you don't want to? Say hi, people. Say, I'm so cute. Say, I'm so cute. Yeah, there's my smile. All right. There, you got your bank now. You want your Pooh Bear? Want your Pooh Bear? Here. Hey, what's this? What's this? <gasps> Pooh Bear. We love our Pooh Bear lovey. Okay, so hopefully that'll keep him busy until I can uh, finish this video. <sighs> oh, stairs. Oh, I gotta stop being so fat. Oh, that actually, uh, stairs are a thing for me. All right, so it's not actually because I'm fat, it's because I have asthma. Um, I just joke that I'm fat. Um, but so they, they call this the, uh, the dream catcher brush. Um, and it's supposed to be like this multi-purpose foundation, highlighter, blush, whatever, uh, you know, you want to use it for. Um, it's really, really soft. Um, I have a couple of other Luxie brushes that I've gotten in previous Ipsy bags. I actually have two of the blending brushes, um, because one of them was given to me, and I got one in an Ipsy bag. And then I also have the tapered highlighter brush, which I use every single day. I love this brush. Only problem with this one is, it is basically the same as this one. Um... And it's, it's supposed to be able to be used for, like, foundation and stuff, even liquid foundation, and it sucks for liquid foundation. I don't use this for liquid foundation. So if they're advertising it as a foundation brush, it's really crap because it does not work as a foundation brush, at least not for me. It leaves it really streaky and just kind of gross looking. I like my Beauty Blender way more. So I don't use this for foundation. What I do use it for, however, is setting powder. This is beautiful for setting powder. It's also a really good blush brush. I've used it as a blush brush. I've also tried it as a highlighting brush. It's really great for powder stuff. Not so much for liquid and cream stuff. So I wouldn't recommend it for anything other than powder, but this is a really great brush. And I think it's like, I think it's like $12 full price. I can't remember. It's Maybe it's like one of the $20 ones. I don't remember, but I did look it up and I went, oh, well, that's worth it to get it in the Ipsy bag then because it was more expensive than the bag itself. So there is that. So here, I'm just gonna put that away. Next, I'm gonna go to the, I took it out of the package, so it does, it's not labeled, but this is the Urban Decay Afterglow Highlighter. It's in the shade Sin. It is, let me get, there we go. It's like a nice like champagne gold highlighter. Um, I really like this highlighter. It stays on all day and it gives you like a nice glow. The only thing is, is it's more of a subtle glow. I like a really like see you from space kind of highlight, whereas this is more of an afterglow, which is 
what it's called. It's like I'm trying to get the light to catch it and I'm going to do weird stuff with my face. But it's it's not a very like out there glow. It's really more subtle. So if you really like subtle highlighters, I definitely recommend spending the $30 for the full price because a little bit goes a really long way. And if you do want the See You From Space highlight, it is layers, like it is buildable, so you can layer it with stuff and, um, or you can layer it over itself and it will give you a, a much uh, starker glow. But, you know, just initial application, it's real subtle and, you know, I actually kind of like that for um, when I just want like a subtle glow. He's so mad, he must have dropped the bink. Oh, he must have dropped the bink. Oh, we do the stairs again. We do the stairs again. Boop, 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 boop. What's the matter? What's the matter? Huh? What's the matter? <gasps> what you doing? What you doing? Danny's playing his video games over there. I think he's watching videos of the video games in like the little Xbox store. And then this one loves to watch them. He loves to watch his Danny cousin. Yeah. Did you drop your Pooh Bear? You want your Pooh Bear? Oh yeah, see, I love my Pooh Bear. I love my Pooh Bear. Yeah. We're gonna have fun. We're gonna have fun. He's cranky, he has a cold. No, 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 don't fuss. I have one more product to review. No fusses. No fusses. Yeah, do you see yourself in my front facing phone camera? Do you see that? Yeah? Hey, what's this? What's this? What's over here? Distraction. Running, 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 running. Now he can see himself in the little mirror that's on there. And maybe that will keep him distracted. La 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 la. See, the problem is, is that he hears me talking upstairs, but he can't see me. And if he can't see me, that means I'm gone. Even if he can hear me, I'm gone. And that's the worst. I can't be gone. All right, so the last product that I'm going to review is the Endless Silky Eye Pen by uh, Pixie by Petra. This thing is my new holy grail for eyeliner. Oh, oh, I love this eyeliner so much. Regular price, it is $12, but that's about to be worth it for me because this stuff is basically like if you took butter, melted it, and dyed it black, and then used it as eyeliner. It is like... Oh, it glides on so smoothly, and it stays. It stays. It doesn't smudge anywhere unless you smudge it. It stays. It is, like, almost waterproof. Like, you have to work at it with water to get it off. And uh, it stays on my waterline all day, doesn't move, and it is so pigmented. It is so black. I actually, I used it today. I'm going to be gross for a second and, like, peel back my eye, but, like, Look at that! It's amazing! And it seriously, it, it glides on like freaking butter. It is... Oh! I love it! I have never loved an eyeliner so much as I have loved this. Not even... I, you know, not even my Wet n Wild, because that stuff is still a little dry. This is like... Oh! 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 Probably my favorite out of all of the things that I got is this. This is seriously a new holy grail for me. So, um, you know, when this runs out, I am definitely going to buy more. The only... Excuse me, I just like breathed in and hiccuped at the same time. I don't know what that was, but like I'm probably gonna die in about 10 minutes. Um, <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, um, the only problem that I see with this is that it's because it's so soft, I guess, um, you it, it feels like I'm using a lot. Um, so I feel like I'm going through it really quickly. Um, so, I mean, I'm gonna try and work around that a little and see if maybe I need to use a lighter hand for it um, to maybe not use as much, but um, I do feel like it squishes down really fast and I do feel like I'm using quite a bit of it. So, you know, the, that $12 purchase, which I imagine is like a full size eyeliner pen, that $12 purchase may only last me like three months or so, which when you think about it, that's not bad, but at the same time, I really like to you know, have stuff last me a long time. I don't want to have to keep replacing necessities. I want to spend that money on getting, like, new stuff that I want to try. So, oh, he's so mad. Oh, he's so mad. All right, so we're going to wrap this up. So that is my basic review of the uh, stuff that I got in my Ipsy bag for May 2017. I can't wait to get my June bag. I'm probably not going to look at any of the stuff from my June bag. I want to be surprised. Um, this one, I kind of 
didn't surprise myself with. I thought I was going to, and then I was like, no, I want to know, I want to know, and then I accidentally, like, looked at stuff, and I was like, okay, well, I'm just going to look at the rest of it. So, you know, I... I think for June, I'm going to just not look at Ipsy at all. I'm just not even, no emails, nothing. I'm just not going to do it because I want to surprise myself with what I get. So, um, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and share my videos around. Um, I'm trying to get started as a professional makeup artist, so I want to get my name out there, get noticed and everything. Um, I do have uh, my Instagram, my blog, my Facebook page. All the links to that are in the uh, video description and also in my profile. Um, if you'd like to make a donation towards getting me to cosmetology school, because that is my end game right now, uh, is to get to cosmetology school, become an esthetician, and have my own makeup line. Um, so um, if you'd like to donate towards that cause, you can do so at my PayPal. Uh, there's a link in my profile and again in the video description. Any and all donations are so appreciated. They all go towards school and they all help. Um, but they're not necessary. You don't have to feel like you have to donate just to keep the videos coming because the videos are going to remain free no matter what because I love doing this for you guys. So thank you so, so much for continuing to support me and continuing to watch my videos and I will see you all next time for another video. Mwah! I love you all. Bye-bye.